Imagine that you leave your two young children with their loving grandmother while you're at work. Then you get a frantic phone call from your eight-year-old son saying his younger brother is in the bathroom crying and saying, please don't kill me. About a mile away, police find the killer in a park covered in blood with an empty bottle of wine and a lot of anxiety medication. And the killer? The children's grandmother. A seven-year-old is stabbed to death in Tallahassee. The crime tape went up outside this home at about 11.30. Neighbors tell us they saw seven-year-old Mason Reinhardt loaded into the ambulance. The suspect had been spotted at a park right around the corner. The suspect? Reinhardt's grandmother, 63-year-old Martha White. Mason Reinhardt and his eight-year-old brother Aiden were watching video games when White told them she had a surprise for them. White took Mason into the bathroom and closed the door. He says he heard his brother screaming, don't kill me. But when he tried to open the door, it was locked. Well, let's hear what parents Zach and Spring have to say about the most horrifying day of their lives. The day that Martha came to our house on August 5th was two days before Mason's birthday. I was working, I got a call from Zach and he was panicking and he was saying, I don't know what's going on. Aiden gave me a call and he, he's kind of scrambling from words. And he says, Dad, he said, oh, Mason's in the bathroom, Mason's in the bathroom with, with, with Grammy. I asked, well, what's Mason doing? He said, Mason's screaming, Mason's breathing hard. And then he said, he doesn't want to die. So I got in the car and I'm driving as fast as I can. And I'm on the phone with Aiden. I'm like, Aiden, where is she? And he's like, I don't know, mommy, I don't know. And he bangs on the door, Grammy, Grammy, daddy wants to talk to you right now. And uh, she doesn't answer. And I knew the whole world stopped. And I pull up at my house. Their bathroom door was closed and I ran to it and I leaned back and I kicked the door open. All I saw was just like blood everywhere. And I looked down and there was a blanket on the ground. I started at the top of the blanket and I followed it down. When I looked, his toes were hanging out the end of the blanket. And I pulled the blanket off. And he was stabbed so many times in the lungs and in his chest. I mean, it was like, a, you know, I mean, it was a murder scene. I mean, he wasn't laying peacefully. So then I pull up and I see Mason on the ground. I see the bathroom door open. I rip the blanket off, take him out of the bathroom, and then I start to pump on him. I was screaming at him to get up, you know, I knew he was probably gone. Zach was just smashing, like, everything in our house. He was like, where is she, where is she? By the time we got to the hospital, I remember this lady coming in, telling me that, that Mason was dead. I had one last look, I got on my hands and knees, right down the foot of the bed, and prayed for him, you know. That was it.